What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we are doing another Magic the Gathering opening. We're going to wrap up our core 2019 uh, booster box by opening up 12 more packs. Uh, so far the box has not been very strong so what I'm hoping means is that all the good cards have been waiting to the last opening to come out and hopefully we're going to pull a bunch of mythics. Um, the one I want the most is that Nicol Bolas just because he is the big bad guy when it comes to War of the Spark so which I'm so excited about due out in early May so let's get right into it guys <clears throat> all right Nickel Bolas here we come hopefully and I'm um, not opening up the back correctly Ooh. Yeah, that's the way to do it all right for our first couple we'll go to the commons Loxton Lime Breaker Disperse Tempest Blast Elvis Rejuvenator Macabre Waltz Invoke the Divine Pegasus Courser Field Creeper, a Aviation Pioneer, a Vashino Pyromancer, ooh that's a cool art, and then we have a Vine Mare, I feel like this focusing is, I wonder if it has to do with the uh, white background, Murder, Colossal Majesty, and then a Leolin War Leader, what do we got here, attacks, to create two white white tokens, lifelink that are tapped and attacking, hmm, that's actually not too bad, but for four, 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 I feel like that's not bad actually. Maybe more in like a limited. All right, and now right now we'll just kind of cruise through them. See if there's any. What is this? Infection horror. Giant spider. I feel like they in these core sets. There's just like certain things that, like, oh, we want to make sure that in the rotation that there's at least a way to do this. So like kind of like that giant spider. Something with reach. Well, no, I don't. Want to, otherwise, ooh, omniscience. Oh, this is a very cool card, and I feel like, um, so basically this card, forget about mana costs, and um, I feel like the coolest usage of this is with, um, at least in Legacy, I'm not sure if Show and Tell is, probably not for Modern, uh, but Omniscience, basically Show and Tell, where each player gets to put a permanent play, you just throw this down, and then it's like, okay, now here comes all my huge creatures, uh, for example, like here's Emmercruel, which I can cast for free, and then I get another turn, and then you're done. So, very cool card. Finally, we have a Mythic. We're going through a bit of a Mythic dry spell as far as Core 2019, so very happy with that pull. Alright, so we're back into it. We got a Fountain of Renewal. What we have here at the beginning of your upkeep? Gain one life, nice. And then sacrifice for draw a card. That's actually pretty good. A uh, card that was similar was the um, Prismatic charm or something it was like basically it costs three and then you just tap it for a mana uh, and you get one life a card that I always liked uh, fraying omnipotence each player loses half their life and then discards half the cards in their hand then sacrifice half the creatures they run round up each time hmm that sounds like a pretty devastating control card but that's quite a mana high cost and to be honest like under certain situations might actually not that do that much and I think when you're control, I don't think you want to give up half your life. We got a gear up per guide, lightning mare, pro poison tip archer, not pro tip. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here's all the mythics, guys. Very nice pull. We got a Sarkan, fire blood, the dragon, dragon planeswalker, discard card. If you do draw a card, that's not that good, but he only costs three. Um, add two mana of any combination. Eh, well, it's two plus one abilities. So if you can't get to seven, you can create four, five, five dragons. Um, hey, it's like a, it's a planeswalker, cheap uh, as far as mana cost goes. Planeswalker, but yeah, he doesn't seem that strong. Like to be honest, like if he was on the battlefield, the priority of removing him, getting him off the battlefield, maybe not even to be honest, that not that high. Alright, Inferno Hellion, Mirror Image, Militia Bugler, Bugler? And then a Isareth the Awakener. Okay, ooh, we do have a foil. Foil common. Ah. I do like that way of opening the packs. So if other other people on YouTube open that fashion. Alright, we got a Ghost Bark Twins. 
sleep. A volcanic dragon, I feel like this is kind of a classic dragon at this point. 4-4 four, four, flying with haste. And then a desecrated tomb for 3 mana whenever one or more creatures leave the graveyard. Create a 1-1 one, one. whenever one or more creatures leave your graveyard. Uh, let's see, why would things leave the graveyard other than if they're bringing it back? Mm, leave, I wonder if exile counts. So you have one of those cards that removes all cards from the graveyard. Uh, it's kind of situational. Volley Veteran, Sift, Reassembling Skeleton, a card that's not very good but I always was a fan of, and then uh, Silactory Lich. Alright, so far two, two Mythics, so very happy with that, however I'm hoping for at least one more, um, and uh, yeah, at least we got a Planeswalker and, and a very good um, Mythic in Omniscience. Double cast. Shield Mare. Horizon Scholar. And Demanding Dragon. What is a Demanding Dragon? This is a battlefield that deals 5 damage to target opponent unless this player sacrifices a creature. Hmm. Or 5. Okay. Another foil. As far as the foils go, I feel like this is pretty weak. Uh, even our foil rare wasn't that good. Alright, Skilled Animator, Arcane Encyclopedia, ooh, hmm, that's interesting, Gargoyle Sentinel, and then a Wind, Wind Reader Sphinx, whenever a creature with flying and attacks, you may draw a card for seven, that's a little too high, it's an interesting card though. A couple people have asked, like, how come you don't you skip like the whole pack as far as the commons go? And the answer is that, to be honest, uh, the, one, there's a lot of commons, and two, uh, very few of them are like of um, of any significance. Exclusion Mage. Ooh, Elvis Chancellor, very nice. Is this like I think it's an Elf Lord for two, and uh, six is kind of a lot, but then you can kind of uh, make more of them. So very nice pull right there. Um, but yeah, while, while there's obviously exceptions, and probably like the one that comes to mind is the best example is the it's a one one blue mana and potentially flips to a three two. How am I blanking on this name? Delver. Um, so that's not to say that there are no good ones, but for the most part, uh, some of the the uncommons will actually be relevant. But then even even that's like a small percentage of them. And uh, we got a chaos wand. For three, exile turns, 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 turns card, then put the exile cards that weren't casting. Alright, on to the last pack. Come on, let's get one more mythic. Otherwise, I feel like this on the mythic slot, this box was not great. All the mythics were pretty good, no like complete garbage mythics. Um, three just feels low. Got a dragon egg, sun siege breaker giant, a surge mare. A lot of mares in this set. And then, ooh, yes, there we go. All right, take it back. Our our mythics were totally on fire. Uh, yeah, we didn't get Nickel Bullis, but this is a very good one. And I think this price is actually going up um, in preparation for War of the Spark. So let's see, we got, so it starts with four loyalty for four, plus one. Put the top three cards of your library in the graveyard. If at least one of them is a zombie card, each opponent loses two life. Uh, I don't think that's that good. Minus two, target creature gets the X on an X or X number of zombies. That's actually kind of interesting. You can cast zombie cards from your graveyard this turn. Hmm, I'm uh, curious, like how the how a deck can be made with that. All right, so then we do have a volley veteran or uncommon foil, and then yeah, so very good opening, uh, very stacked into the last part of this booster box. So I'm really happy with the results. We did get two planeswalkers and Sarkhan as well as Liliana. 
untouched by death, a very strong enchantment in omniscience, and then for a very strong rare in Elvis Chancellor. So uh, there you guys have it. We did wrap up our booster box of Core 2019 in preparation for War of the Spark due early in May. Super excited about it. And uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy this content and want to see more Magic the Gathering, uh, let me know by hitting the like comment down below. And uh, and yeah, uh, all that, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.